everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week on my blog for Facebook Friday, I chose the Marigold Moments bundle. Um, <laughs> and then it sold out. It's the last chance list time in the Stampin' Up! world, which means our annual catalog and spring catalogs are retiring. And so at any moment, anything can sell out. And unfortunately, after I made all my projects, the stamps sold out. Right now, the dies are still available. I'm going ahead with my projects even though the stamp set isn't available because I think any stamp and die flower bundle that you have would work well with any of these projects. Um, at the moment, the dies are on sale for $13. So we're actually only using the sentiment thanks here and then we're using the dies. So you could always just get the dies and use another sentiment if you wanted. All right, so I've seen some fun cards online with weaving. I love to do paper weaving, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, I am using just plain white cardstock, and I like to tape it down to some um, chipboard using painter's tape just to make sure it stays flat while it's drying. I'm not going to do that um, completely right now because I have done this ahead of time, but I want to show you how I did it. I have taken one of our spritzers and our ink refills. And this one is pool party, as you can see. I added four drops of ink refill in my spritzer. And then I filled it up with rubbing alcohol. Um, for these, you want the higher percentage alcohol. This one was a 91% isopropyl alcohol. I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but it's the higher percentages. The lower percentages um, tend to clog up your spritzer. So make sure that number is higher. And then that's all you have to do. And it dries really fast. Now, here's a couple of tips. The spritzer is wild and you never know where it's going to go. So pre prepare your workspace. What I like to do is to get a big cardboard box, set this down in, and then just spritz. Um, sometimes I'll set it over my trash can if it's a smaller piece and spritz inside my trash can. We're going to be super um, rebels this morning. and I'm going to do it right here on the video. And you want to just... The higher up you hold it, the finer the mist, the closer you're going to get more concentrated. So I kind of like to hold it up high and just do a little, my problem is I always do too much. So stop and let it dry and see what you think. And then you can go back and add some more, um, whatever you want to do. Um, so of course, I've done this ahead of time. This is a half sheet of basic white. And then I have taken it and trimmed it on the short side in three eighths of an inch strips. Half an inch was too big, a quarter inch was too small, so three eighths of an inch. Um, and some of them have splatter, some of them are a little more solid, um, but that's the nature of doing this. This is not gonna be exactly the same. All right, now I have another piece of chipboard and I'm just gonna put some adhesive across the top and I'm gonna start with my pieces up here like this. And I'm gonna make them pretty close together. Um, one of the things is we have to remember we're working on a card front that is only four and a fourth by five and a half. So it can't be terribly large, but it's better to start out a little bit too big and then you can always trim it down or you can just have a small little weaving if you want. Okay. And then let's do a couple more. Let's see, how many did I do on our original? Let's see, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do one more. All right. Now, if you've never done weaving, guys, surely you have. It's very basic. You're going to go over and under, over and under. This is one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid, and I still love to do it. So over and under, over and under and then just push it to the top. And then the next time you're gonna start, you're gonna go under and over, under and over. So you're gonna do the opposite pieces that you did on the original. All right, I'm gonna move that up and then we're gonna do it again, this time matching that first one. Under, 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 like that. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep weaving until I get down to about five inches or five and a half inches. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do. 
Look at how far we travel. Look at how much we've done. Truth is, one person can matter. Look what ideas can become. The journey to our destination is what we remember today. Go oh, celebrate the difference that we made. Thinking back at where we started, we can see just how far we have come. What each of us has created We see there is power in one The journey is not always easy But with every step along the way Oh, celebrate The difference that we take my glue and I'm going to put a dot of glue under all of the ones over here on the left side and then we're going to give that a second to dry and then we're going to take it off we'll put our marigolds together give that a few seconds for that glue to hold before we cut it off and then we're going to kind of rearrange our little our little things make sure they're as close as we can get them all right now for the marigolds you're gonna use this die right here for your top layer and this die for your bottom layer for my original card I used mango melody and pumpkin pie mango melody has since sold out so I'm switching over to pale papaya now for the top layer you want to add um, adhesive sheet to the back so that you can just peel this right off like that and then set it down let's see if I can get that little straggler piece off here in just a second like that and then we'll take this piece and do the same I think adhesive sheets are pretty crucial for this die set just, I mean, you're gonna have a hard time getting that liquid glue inside there. All right, now, if you've got a little straggler like me, get your take your pick tool and, well, we hit it down behind there. There we go. All right, now we've got our, our little label and we've got our branch, our little stem, if you will. And we're gonna stamp our thanks in pumpkin pie right there in the middle like that and then the last thing we're going to need is a bow from our evening evergreen window pane ribbon don't want it too terribly big because then it will cover up your flower All right, so we've got all our pieces ready to go. Let's bring this back. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut this. Let's see, first I'm gonna see if I could pull it off up here like that, very carefully. Now, see this guy, he's escaping. Let's see, we may not even need that guy. I'm gonna take my pieces and slide them close together. All right, let's see, do we need that other piece? Let's see. Nope, I don't think we do. All right, once you have all of those there, take your scissors and you wanna cut all the pieces at an angle, okay? And just go through here. A 
Well, that one didn't get cut very well, did it? And now we'll come up here. And last but not least, this side. There we go. Okay, let's get all of our little pieces out of here. And make sure it fits like that. And I'm gonna put a bunch of glue, bunch of glue dots. This one looks like it's sliding out. We don't want that to happen. And once you get this glued down, they won't move around anymore. All right, this is a thick white card base. I'm just gonna turn it on its side like that. Push that down. And now we'll do our flowers. We're gonna use dimensionals for these. And we'll put those like that. Bring your stem over again with some glue. Oh, actually, no, look, I was smart and I cut it out with an adhesive sheet first. That way we can just peel it and stick it right there. Okay, and our sentiment, we will use dimensionals. right across there and our bow we need a glue dot i'm going to put that right under those flowers like that all right and last but not least let's add some brass butterflies these little guys are so adorable and your take your pick tool is a really good tool to help you get these off the sheet and arranged nicely. I think we need one more little one right there. All right, and there you have it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this card. If you have questions, please let me know. Click the link here on YouTube to hop back over to my blog. There's a free PDF and two other Marigold Moments projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.